Hi guys, so today this is the second video in my back to school series and I'm going to be doing a back to school q and I put up a picture on Instagram asking you all for your back to school themed questions and there's quite a few so I'm just going to get to the top and get through them all. Right, the first question is by Amy Coleman 98 what are you studying this year? Um, dance, geography and drama. So I'm studying this year. Um, Helen underscore Hassan. If I say your names wrong, don't, don't kill me. Um, what are you planning to do after college? I'm not sure yet. I don't want to go to uni. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. Katie Mercer XX. Do you enjoy college? Yes, and she also asked, do you and Connor go to the same college? We did, but Connor doesn't go to college anymore. He um, has got an apprenticeship, so not anymore. Um, Laura underscore Summers asked, what was your favourite year of your school life? I feel like year 10 were a really good year, but just because the, it was like the best summer. Like, me and my friends had such a good summer that summer. Um, and... I feel like, yeah, I feel like year 10 was the good year. Um, Helen Hassan asks, how is school in general? I don't actually go to school anymore. I'm in my second year of college. So, but I did enjoy school. She also asks, top essentials. Probably my phone. Um... Chloe underscore X asked your makeup essentials for school. The video going up on Friday is going to be a what's in my school bag and there'll be a little show of that in there. Um, Kelsey JadeXOX says what was your first week at college like? If she means first week like I ever went to college, very scary. Going to a new place with so many people and not knowing hardly anybody, whereas when you're at school, you know everybody and everybody's names, is very scary. Um, I really like college now, but yeah, the first week was definitely a nerve-wracking one. Um, Zara underscore Hayworth asks, if you had to stick with just one subject to study all your life, what subject would you choose to study and why? Probably dance or drama because I enjoy them a lot. Uh, Amy McKay X asks, do you prefer school or college? College, I think you have more freedom and you can kind of do what you want, really. Um, Annalise, Annalie underscore S, what was the worst thing you ever did at school? By the way, I love your videos, thank you. Um, the worst thing I ever did at school, like being bad. Um, I don't know, they weren't actually that bad. Um, I can't even think of anything. I did. I don't know what I did. We used to be bad in French. We used to test the teacher's patience in French, but yeah. Um, Ellen Dussar Cornell asks, how do you make yourself feel more awake every morning? I'm definitely a not turn my alarm off and lay in bed on my phone kind of person. I have to turn my alarm off and get straight out of bed and start getting ready and that usually wakes me up. Um, Paige Smith 117 asks, do you have a favourite teacher? If so, what lesson do they teach and why are they your favourite? My drama teacher is my favourite. He's called Phil. He's really, really funny and yeah, he's also like a really good teacher. So that's my favourite. George Manian, ever had arguments with teachers? I have. Um, mostly, I remember once we were doing a minute silence and there was this really crappy um like supply teacher and I smiled at my friend during the minute silence and she came over to me after and started shouting at me saying that I talked when I knew for a fact I had it because I wouldn't talk in a minute silence and we had an argument about that um yeah T 
Taylor Swift is Bay 173 asks, what is the best thing you have done since you have started college? Have you achieved anything you wanted to achieve since being at college? Love your videos. Thank you. Um, and what is something I've done since being at college? I don't know. I haven't really done much at college. I didn't do the college production or anything. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I've not become a better person, but I feel like since I've got to college, I've changed for like better like... I feel not more grown up. This is, I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I feel like college has made me a better person. There we go, we'll go for that. BXXBB asks, what did you get in your GCSEs? Oh God, Jesus, this was so long ago. I'll, I'll list a few because I can't remember everything. I got a B in jog, uh, a B in maths, a B in English, C in geography, a star in performing arts. What else subjects did I take? Uh, B in science, can't remember any else, anything else. I know I failed French and ICT, but ICT wasn't my fault, but yeah. Um, Cha JPG asks, favourite school memory? Probably dinner times at school were like the best thing. We all used to sit, like all the girls and all our boy mates, we all used to sit together and it used to be really good. Um... Abby.e underscore, do, did you ever go to school with no friends? Um, kind of. Um, there was a time in year seven that I kind of fell out with my group of friends and didn't really have any friends. Uh, but I never kind of went into a new school with no friends. Um, underscore Ashley Cole, is year 10 hard? Also, I love you, thank you. Um, Year 10 is kind of where it starts getting serious, like it's one year until your GCSE year. Um, so it's harder than the other years, yeah, but I don't think I found year 10 too difficult. Becca Speakman, advice for starting college. Be confident. Um, college is completely different to school, well in my opinion. You don't have those kind of, if you sit in my seat, that's it, kind of arguments you don't know who everybody is so it's not as judgmental as school so i think you can definitely be a lot more of yourself and feel more comfortable and another thing is if you're ever stuck ask your teacher because the worst thing is being sat there not knowing what to do and just not asking it's not going to help you at all so i'd recommend definitely asking your teacher if you're stuck enzel one two three when you were in school, was there a lot of pressure on you? <laughs> I think teachers always put pressure on you, but I think it's good pressure. There was never too much pressure put on me to do anything. Um, she also asked, how do you deal with the depression of going back to school? Did anything help you look forward to school? Um, I hated going back to school. Like The day before or the week before you knew you were going back to school, it's the worst thing ever. Like, oh my God, I have to start getting up early again. Definitely going stationary shopping <laughs> makes me so excited to go back and like, I just want to use it all again. And I'm actually not dreading it this time because my college timetable this year is actually really quite good other than Mondays. So it means I haven't really got very many early starts. So I'm not actually dreading it this time. But I think just think about the positives like you're going to get to go back and see your friends and stuff like that. Um, just dot jazz xx did you find it hard or easy choosing what you wanted to do in college um i think it was quite easy for me to decide what i wanted to do i kind of knew when i left school what i wanted to do at college ella girdham asks what would be your top beauty advice for anyone starting back to school slash college take powder <laughs> this sounds weird but i never used to take makeup to school or college and then when you have dance and you are sweaty, powder is the best thing ever. <laughs> so I'd have a powder, even if I didn't take any makeup, I took a powder and a powder brush and a lip balm because lips get very dry and then that's the most horrible thing when you're at college and you're like trying to make your lips moisturised. <laughs> Susanna underscore XX, how did your first year of college go and did you pass all your exams? Yes, I passed all my exams and yeah, it was all right. This this year coming up is definitely going to be a lot more difficult but yes I did pass all my exams and yeah 
Leanne underscore Garner X. If you could give one piece of advice to someone starting college reflecting on your own experience, what would it be and why? I've kind of answered this. Just be confident and be yourself and ask for help. Um. Oh god, this is a hard name. Underscore dot Callie with loads of dots in between dot underscore. Did you ever get bullied in school? If so, what did you do to help the situation and make it better? I got quite badly bullied in school. Um, I think I have a video on it. There's a video called My YouTube Story and that basically explains it all. Basically, I got really, really bullied because of YouTube. I think surrounding myself with my friends and my family and I was in year seven, eight when this happened um, and all the sixth farmers at my school were so nice. So I think just helping with people around you that make you feel comfortable and talking to people about it definitely helped me. I definitely spoke to a lot of teachers about it and stuff. So yes. Courtney Hughes, did you ever get a Levers hoodie or something when you left school? Yes, I have a Levers hoodie. It doesn't actually fit me anymore because I picked it in the wrong size. So the arms are too short, unfortunately, but I do still have it. I also have Connors in my wardrobe as well. <laughs> um, Wally says, are you gonna accept the fact that you love me next year in college? Probably not Wally, no. Um, L-E-O underscore X-X, any tips for someone who's starting year 11 this year? By the way, I love you, thank you. Um, and I would definitely say stay organized and do your revision. I didn't. In year 11, it got to like the month before the exams and I was revising, revising, revising. It would have been a lot easier for me if I had just done it from when we were really told to start revision. But yeah, definitely revise and stay organised. Um, Amy Rose asked, did you do dance out of school? And if so, how did you manage to balance between dance and GCSEs. Um, yes, I did dance out of school. I did it on a Saturday, um, every Saturday for, oh my God, drop my phone. It's okay. Well, it's not okay, because it's already smashed, but. <laughs> um, I used to do it every Saturday for a couple of hours, and then dance competitions were on a Sunday. Um, that never really interrupted with my GCSEs. Um, I can understand if you did dance a lot of days out of the week, that it probably would, but I'd just say make sure that you prioritize if there's one day where you are so close to an exam and you need to do the work, then maybe don't go to dance or, I don't know, just, I'd probably say make sure that you prioritise, like, is dance the most important over your GCSEs kind of thing. So that's all the questions. There was a lot of similar questions. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you're enjoying my little back to school thingy. Um, yeah. Um, nothing else to say really. <laughs> uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. Um, next week um, I have a really exciting video going up with Connor so make sure you subscribe so you get that in your subscription box when that goes up. Um, so yeah I'll see you all later. Bye!